Hello, Blake Grutus here with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com. And today I want to talk about the hue, saturation, and luminance, or what you know as maybe the HSL adjustment layer in Photoshop. And we're going to do it in approximately five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the entire hue, saturation, adjustment layer like you see right here. We're going to go over every little item that's in here. And we're also going to show how you can do some pretty clever customization with your color grading here to make your image a little bit more impactful in the end. So we've got a lot to cover in five minutes. Let's jump into Photoshop. So we're going to go into our adjustment layers down here. We go into our adjustment layer. We're going to grab the hue, saturation, and luminance adjustment layer. You might also hear this being called the HSL layer. So we have to talk about what hue is, what saturation is, and what lightness is first before we actually get into how this layer works. So what is hue? Hue is how you add a certain color to another color to make another color. And what I mean by that sounds really confusing. Look at the color red and watch as we move the color red. You'll notice that this is says plus 32 and it goes all the way up to plus 180. What we've done is we've went 180 degrees around the color wheel and turned red into cyan. We go the other way, you can see how red is slowly gonna turn into a magenta color, then slowly gonna turn into a purple color, then slowly turn blue, and then back to cyan. So we're rotating around the color wheel and it's based on the degrees around the color wheel when you have hue selected. Saturation is a little bit different. We're gonna go ahead and look at this color wheel. It's a very low saturated color wheel. Saturation is how much of the purest form of a color is available. So in this one, these are all the purest forms of color. If we were to try and increase the saturation, there's nothing that's going to affect this color wheel because these are the purest forms of saturation, okay? So let's look at this. If we move this down, all the colors turn a 50% gray. If we move it all the way up, we now have full saturation of those colors. So that's how that works. A lot of times you'll see in your images that you don't have full saturation in a color in an area of your photograph until you start to move the saturation up and give it full saturation. Lightness is like adding white or black to a color. So uh, that's like if you mix the color red with white to get to the point where it turns pink and then it goes all the way to pure white, or if you mix it with black and it gets kind of a blood red and then turns black completely. Now, if we do it on the master layer, like you see here, we have the master layer selected, it's gonna make the hue, or it's gonna make the lightness different for the entire photo we have in front of us. But if we go into an individual color, like the color red, we go to lightness, you can see that now the color red is getting white added to it and it's also getting black added to it. All right, so that's how lightness works, HS. Hue, saturation, lightness. A couple other really cool things we need to talk about here. So you have something called the targeted adjustment tool. You click on the targeted adjustment tool, you click on a color, and it tells you exactly what color that is. You see that this changed from master to red. We can look at the target adjustment tool, click on yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. Now you have control over each hue, saturation, and luminance for each one of those different colors. So here we have magenta. I can change the hue of magenta until magenta changes, just like we talked about, change the saturation, and also change the lightness. So that, it's, that magenta becomes white or that magenta becomes black. Very interesting stuff that you can do with the hue, saturation, adjustment layers. Now one thing I want to talk about is something called colorizing. So let's take this photo here. So with this photo, it looks like it has a high amount of saturation, but if we actually go into a hue saturation adjustment layer and increase the saturation, it doesn't have a whole lot of saturation in it. So that's the control you can have when you have the saturation in the master area here. You can also do uh, go into each individual color or in this case, where you don't necessarily know what color this might be in the background or what color this is here, you can use a target adjustment tool, click on a color, and that's the greens, and we can increase the saturation in the greens and also change the hue. So now this uh, B that was actually a green B, can, we can make it yellow, we can make it whatever color we wanted to match the composition that we have available to us. Another really cool thing here is this thing called colorize. So if we click colorize. This is actually, if you look at this color right here, what this is saying is that we have the color blue selected. A saturation is very low. So if we change this over to, let's say green right here, we can increase the saturation of that green and then maybe decrease the lightness of it. Not very special right now, but what if we change this to something like soft light? And what if we drop the opacity down to about 50%? And then we also have the ability to now move the hue, set, hue slider over until we get the color 
the color eyes that we want. We can increase the saturation of the color eyes that we're affecting. We can also adjust the lightness and darkness of that colorized adjustment that we're selecting. This is something pretty new to me that I think is pretty powerful because now you can color grade your images using the hue saturation adjustment layer instead of something like the gradient map like you might have normally seen me use. So we covered quite a bit of territory here. This is just a crash course in the HSL adjustment layer pretty much breaking down everything that we that you have in front of you. We talked about hue, saturation, and lightness. Hue being uh, how a color changes by mixing with another color. Saturation being how much potency is in that color. And lightness being whether you have white or black mixed with that color. We talked about the targeted adjustment tool, how you can find a, a certain color in a photograph by clicking and using the targeted adjustment tool. And then we looked at the colorize option, where you can actually make the overall color of an entire image uh, one given color and have a color tone uh, across the entire image by using those things like uh, your blending options and your opacity. So experiment with this stuff. You don't have to just use soft light. What happens if we go down here and we use color? We can get some pretty interesting results. All right. So experiment with the hue saturation adjustment layer next to the curves adjustment layer. I think this is probably one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop. Tone for curves, color for hue saturation and lightness. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please uh, share it, comment on it, send it to a friend, um, and definitely subscribe because every Friday, new tutorial coming your way. Thank you very much for watching.